Fortune to come along, never a good sign. Little bent up spot piece. Straighten her up, new tires. You want me to explain what happened? No, I'm not gonna let you ride him out. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, he would. Yeah, oh yeah, he would. He hasn't yet, though. What? He hasn't yet, though. Yeah, but honestly, like, really, what does he have on me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Well, I know a couple things. Not for the camera, though. Not for the camera. <laughs> Making progress. Still looks bent. Still looks whopper drawled. Put new culvert in here on the Indy farm. Here at the Brown Ditch. Got the Knox County crew here. In half of Knox County, looks like. <laughs> Still working on the planner. Everything on the units is done except for parts that we're waiting on, which just a few should be here tomorrow. Now I'm gonna take these markers off. You can see one over there. Got held on with a ratchet strap. I don't use them. Usually they just vibrate around and something breaks. Well, I was needing some plugs for the hydraulics on the marker before I could replace it. So didn't get they didn't have them. So I'm waiting for those to come in. Just leaving the shop so I can get packed up and then get uh Get to the girls game where I coach the, my girls fifth and sixth grade and then head on up to Tremont for tomorrow precision planning winter conference. Having a mate down the farm lane and I got I got a traffic jam. They're cut, cutting these uh, limbs off. Things got like a got a saw on the very end of it. Just chops those things off. Would have got some better video of it if I had more time, but moving a log out of the way for me. Got a blade on the front and then got that to push it out of the way and chopping limbs so the journey to tremont has begun got a hotel room up there tonight and be at the uh should get there about midnight or so then uh go to the conference tomorrow okay ryan brought one of our new mcdonald's today with the new trailer a little bit deeper the way they sit on there we could modify the old ones but we just decided to go ahead and get new trailers since they're heavier and everything this new mcdon head looks really good we got the uh we stayed with the 40 foot what we like but we got the three-piece reel so it's got more flex see it divides here and down here so you got three pieces we also got the double knife which we had on one of the others and we really love the double knife you can see here where it joins don't have to worry about if you cross uh, cut crossways fast or anything you don't plug up the knife with it and if you happen to break don't break as bad don't pull the head off as bad and if you do happen to break one 
just got a 20 foot piece to fool with instead of a 40. I guess you put in new ones, you gotta put in two, but still a lot easier. These heads, we tried out that one in the fall, fall of 21. Supposed to have these two new heads for 22. January, what, 16th today, 17th, and they have started pulling into the farm. They've had them for about a month at the dealership, I think, maybe a little bit more. And just now got to where they can set them up. So I'm gonna take this to Robinson, put it in the shed, be out of the way for spring. And we got a high school basketball game at Robinson. So that's gonna work out good. Okay, I've made it up to Robinson in here in the shed where we've got a new tanker or used new tanker our new corn head our tanks we got for sale augers and our auger wagon i made it up here with uh the one new mcdon we've got also got an old old seed cleaner there that we used to use years ago to clean wheat and some beans before they come with uh roundup ready old clipper and here we've got my truck up here with all its pretty flashing lights. See if I can get the McDonald back in the shed. Get out of here and go to the basketball game. And a lot of geese up here in this field. It always is. Like they're having a good time out there. It don't scare you. Okay, backed in first time. Didn't embarrass myself. Yeah, or it can just make it completely fun. Rolling in the Peoria where the hotel is. All right, getting ready to go. Seems to find the elevator. Go check out the hotel breakfast and off to the conference we go. What's up, good? Got a workout in this morning. Ready to go see what they got. Would you look at that dirt? How's a guy supposed to make a living up here off that 400 bushel ground? This future home of Precision Planning Operation Center. That's a, but that's gonna be impressive. Well, we made it. Bunch of trucks here. Must be a bunch of farmers. Rolling in right here in the middle of the flat black dirt. What oh, nice country up here. See him. Go ahead and see what this thing's all about. Made it in. Getting a turn from Ashley here. Social media guru. <laughs> Plus premium tour guide. Yes, premium tour guide. All right. Yeah. Tips are at the end of the tour. What does it mean to leave in gutter? You have to be careful to ask the farmer that. Because when others ask, it's good enough. Farmers say, Today we're here as farmers, engineers, agronomists, and developers to continue the pursuit of better. As we work on a project, we want to understand either the increase in yield that it can bring to your operation or the improvement and the return on investment of your input dollar so that that product has the opportunity to pay for itself in under two years. Opening session's over. You're ready to go to the breakouts. Down here on the Ohio, kind of a neat spot. A load of beans, and I'll go back and get another corn. I uh, 
endotherapy this morning for my shoulder. Update on it, it is great. I think I got one more Monday and then I am done. According to this study in Nebraska, and when we hit 64, just three degrees warmer, it, it starts to open up, doesn't it? 70%. It's not until it hits 70 degrees in the soil that we have 100% release in, in, in solubilization from the microbial activity in that soil. The spray is actually coming out of the nozzle. So now watch what happens as I speed up. So I'm going to speed up to 14 miles per hour. You see our speed going up, and you see that duty cycle increase as you're watching the map. So now our duty cycle is in that, call it 85, 90 percent rate. So 90 percent of the time, our nozzles are actually spraying. But look at our pressure and our rate. We maintain those. Remember what would have happened if we weren't controlling them independent is you would have seen pressure increase, but instead duty cycle increase. So we're able to control the duty cycle maintain pressure and rate. So let me slow down and we'll see the opposite. So I'm gonna slow down to eight mile an hour. We see our duty cycle coming down. And so now our duty cycle is called 45%. So 45% of the time we're spraying. But the system is designed where you can have a version of the system that also is gonna be flat rate applying or blanket applying the residual. So as I think about my pre-plant, where I definitely have residuals in as well as my contact, this gives me the ability to do that. Some most will stick entirely with the contact, but sometimes we'll also want a residual, and so this gives us the ability to do that as well. So we're designing it with the flexibility to do that, to do that as well. So this is an actual video that I took from the cab while we're spraying. And to be able to see the system automatically detecting weeds and then spraying based on what it what it detects uh, was incredible. The next session, planner maintenance. My Along with the, the, I need to space my gauge wheel next to my disc opener. Best part of the day. It's lunchtime. Oh, I didn't get any video of it, but we actually had a steak dinner. I, it might have been worth coming. Now I gotta try not to fall asleep. Next session. What we found doing this test that every hour you delay emergence, it's almost a bushel in a corn crop. We are playing corn. Let me read Last that. session. You are playing results corn from the field. Day at the PTI form, weather permitting, multiple tractors, multiple planters. Let's go to the PTI farm. PTI farm. I want to show you what it looks like when farmers have been right and driving at the PTI. Farm. Let's continue these conversations. Hopefully, see you this summer. I'm going to turn the stage over to Taryn Johnson. She's going to close the day. Thanks for your time. Thanks again for coming to Winter Conference. Back on the road, heading home. Not the best driving weather, but we'll manage. At least this thing's got a cab. Heading back, get to a school board meeting. So, not much time to stop and sightsee, but uh, the PTI farm uh, or the PTI uh, winter conference, that was uh, highly recommended to anybody that's ever went. Last year I went to a remote location, which was good. Full of a lot of good information and everything, but being at the actual, uh, being at Tremont, you know, a lot better, a lot better show when you got all the lights and action and whatnot. Uh, or learned some things. We all started in one big room together, then we broke out into three different sessions and went into different different things, learning about different things, whether it been uh, nutrient management, sprayers, the reclaim they got going, that or the uh, cameras that they're putting on the, for the sea and spray, or even spraying different amounts of residual where there's more pressure and stuff uh, went over the planter maintenance what to look for of course for lunch we had that steak dinner that was that exceeded expectations delicious and uh, then we went over the importance of emergence then we finished up with uh, results from the field uh, what they do at their PTI farm we had a video on that this summer that guy was kind of going over all that. It was very good. And then, uh, of course, they know the way that farmer's heart. Free stuff. A different kind of digger for finding the uh, trench and finding your seeds. So, 
I like this thing, and I even I even got two of them. I even got Dad one, even though he didn't come. So about to make the uh, I guess it's three and a half hour trip to where the school board meeting is, and do that, and then after that, head home and get back to work tomorrow. Well, we got up. I'll come back here and show you. We we'll run night shit on this. Must ran it over once. Anyways, must not got it played off good enough. Got a pin broke. But I need this pin to twist. And try and get it out of the bind. So I'll get it out to see if unfold it would work a little bit or not. It's this pin right here on the main uh, fold cylinder. This should be over there, I believe. Maybe right, that's the right direction. Anyways, I need to get this driven up, clean it up a little bit. And a new pin slid in here. It's just a safety pin that put back down. Let's try to unfold, see if that help or not. I don't know. I don't know this is going to help. Got the motor moved up. He's getting our part. River's getting the plugs for this, so we get these off in a little bit. That way we'll also be able to get underneath the hoist and get it folded, unfolded. Big sledge, little grinder. Now I'm able to move this thing. No problem back and forth to get where it needs to be. It's a little safety pin here. It's broke. Don't want knocked out. Get it turned right. Put the one, new one in and hammer it back down. go got the new one in that'll hold it from falling out downward you know had to burn it out it was stuck are we taking bets uh, uh it'll hit because i'm gonna cheat and use some ether okay but it's just if we get the diesel there on. it's only been right. tore down for what two months maybe uh, Month yeah, and a half. Right at it. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. All right, we're gonna see if it fires. First try. Press that in, then you're gonna hit this button when I tell you. Okay. All right, go.
Didn't break anything on the first one. Pretty happy about that. One pin out, one bolt. The left sure makes it easier. Don't let that fall on you, River. Oh. Don't tell mommy you, uh, mom you smash your face. Yeah. Markers are off, but uh, the guy who planted last year, uh, well, he uh, let the seed plates off, so I'm trying to get that tube off. Yeah, that was me. First trip to field, I thought. <clears throat> I put the seed plates in dad, but dad's planter, but obviously not mine. Let's try to figure out how to get this thing blown out. I most the corn out, try to get the rest out with Leroy outside. This planter's done for now till close to spring. Now time to get ready on this guys next week. Did you want a little knife thing yet? Oh, I'm still waiting on bushings. Yeah, still waiting on I bushings. Mean, 12. Still waiting on 12 bushings for the concealed knives. Yep. Then it'll be done until spring where we check for leaks and do more stuff then. But that's it for this week. What's your Ivor stuff? Ivers farmsmyshopifycom Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye. Bye.